China will collapse in three days. I've seen countless videos, articles, and social media posts going around talking about how China is gonna collapse in X amount of days. It's 30, it's 20, it's 10, now! We're down to the last five days. Let me ask you a question first. Has North Korea collapsed? The answer is no. I think you'd all agree that it's not a great country. It's not a successful country. In fact, it's probably one of the worst places in the entire world, but has it collapsed? No, it hasn't. Now imagine North Korea, but with money and a much more robust security apparatus. I'm talking about a police state, 1984 style, with the technology of Black Mirror. Just like in North Korea, there's a culture of ratting each other out, but instead of just relying on secret police to go door to door and make sure that there's no dissent, like what happens in North Korea, in China, it's been distilled into a very functional police state that relies on very high technology. Here's the deal. Associated Press has called me a vocal critic of the Chinese government, but having lived in China for 10 years, I'm also a realistic critic of the Chinese government. I believe that the Chinese government represents the greatest threat to democratic values and the political, economic, and societal stability of free nations across the world. The way that the Chinese government operates is truly evil. From concentration camps to a system built on lies of false success, societal repression, and expansionism. China, under Xi Jinping, has become dangerous and unpredictable. But that doesn't mean it's going to collapse. Yes, nearly the entire real estate industry, hell, much of China's entire economy is built like a Ponzi scheme. But guess what? The Chinese government would rather let its entire country turn to ash and let millions die before any civil unrest is allowed to proliferate. Even then, it won't happen. We don't even have to go that far back to Chairman Mao's China. From 1949 all the way up until the 1970s, where he let tens of millions of people die. You think there's been reform since then? Well, there's been a little bit of opening of the economy, but keep in mind, that is the same government. The government that operated back then and killed tens of millions of Chinese people in modern history is the same government that operates today. Now, do I want China to liberalize and normalize relations with the West and have a peaceful transition of power into a beautiful and democratic nation? Well, yes. In fact, it'd be one of the greatest moments in history. It's what I want the most. The fall of the CCP and the development of China into a free and democratic nation would be one of the most wonderful things we could ever see in our lifetime. But I don't see the benefit of claiming that this is the big one, this is the pivotal moment where the CCP is gonna make China fall apart, China's collapsing, and here's the deal. There's lots of reasons that people keep citing as to why China's about to implode. First of all is real estate. Yes, this is a big one. The real estate industry is a massive chunk of China's GDP. China historically has not been a very stable place, so people, instead of keeping money in the bank, will buy property instead. It's been considered a safe bet. However, when the real estate industry is built like a house of cards, borrowing upon borrowing upon borrowing, and then not actually making anything real or material, it's bound to run into some massive issues. And it is, in fact, crumbling in many aspects. Yes, the real estate industry is falling apart in China. And that's bad. In fact, it's such a large part of China's economy that that would be the first thing that would affect many Chinese people. So wouldn't people losing all of their life's investment backfire and cause panic and political instability? Wouldn't that cause people to go out there and try to overthrow the government? The government that's not doing anything about this? The government that's causing all of this and causing people to lose their life savings? Yeah, in a normal country. Guys, 
people in China are still cheering the government on. And that's not the fault of the people. That's the fault of the system that has created a brainwashed populace that doesn't attribute any problem to the Chinese government. The boogeyman that the CCP has created is banding everyone together. It's not the Chinese government's fault. In particular, it's the fault of the United States. Yes, there is dissent. There are lots of Chinese people that are rising up. In fact, there's more dissent than I've ever seen in China. But the Chinese government hasn't lost control of policing everyone and holding everyone down. In fact, it's pumped so much money and so many resources into public security that it has more control than it ever has in history. You don't need to pull a Tiananmen Square massacre when everyone is too scared to do anything. And when the few people do organize a protest, it gets squashed within minutes. And all of the people who organize that protest are either disappeared or their lives are ruined forever. On a lower estimate, there are about four security cameras for every 10 people in China. In contrast, London, England has 13 cameras for every thousand people. But to make it worse, in China, the cameras tie into a police database, social credit system, and a tracking system that allows no escape. That's ultimate control. The second reason people keep citing is that people keep getting screwed over at the banks. They can't even get their money out. Again, that's a huge issue. When you take money away from Chinese people, the few legitimate reasons that the government has for existing and acting like a authoritarian North Korea-like government kind of go out the window. Why would you allow a government having full control over every action that you have if it means that you're not even promised a little bit of money in return? In fact, you can't even get your money that you put in the bank. Yes, in fact, it caused massive protests. You saw protests all over Hunan, and guess what? They were stamped out immediately. China's created a system where they can stamp out protests right away. And more importantly, they can stamp out any online dissent. They can block out any single keyword that they want on social media posts. They can monitor every single chat group on WeChat, which is the main means of communication throughout China. They can make sure that people that are talking about an uprising are stopped right in their tracks before anything materializes. There's no such thing as viral media in China that isn't already controlled by the government. And if something does go viral in China, it's allowed by the government. In fact, it means it was meant to be viral. China doesn't let things spiral out of control, especially when it's people questioning the leadership of the state. It's truly dystopian. The third reason I keep hearing for China's massive collapse are that people aren't allowed to leave. And that's true. People are getting their green cards and their passports cut up. Not everyone, but it's people close enough to me where I can tell you I have first-hand information of people that this has happened to. China is trying to close off its borders, whether it has to do with COVID restrictions or controlling dissent or making sure its people don't get out and see the rest of the world coming back with fresh ideas. Unless the government has full control over its immigration system, it doesn't want its people to go outside. It doesn't want people to go out and be part of an international community. One of the greatest lies you've ever been told is that China wants to be part of the international community. That's absolute nonsense. China wants full control over the international community and only allowing its citizens to see what it deems appropriate for them. They don't want their people participating in international dialogue. In fact, that's the Chinese government's worst nightmare. When you have ultimate control over your people and where they can go, how they can go, and freezing their money so you make sure that they come back, you have full control over your populace. The other thing I keep hearing is China's food and resource shortages. Whether it be soybeans or meat or fresh water or coal or silicon or any sort of rare earth material, China's running out of all of these things. It's a huge panic because a lot of China's land isn't even arable. They wouldn't be able to be self-sufficient in a global catastrophe like the USA could. It's the simple truth. But that's why China invests 
and diversifies its economy into Africa, Brazil, and other developing countries. And make sure on the way to break every single international agreement and law in the process. Whether it's illegal fishing vessels or taking control of entire resource depots in developing countries, despite people not wanting it to happen. The Chinese government makes sure that they take advantage and exploit every opportunity this world has to offer. And the world will never be the same. China's investment has proven to not be fair. And the people in these developing countries that China's exploiting are not happy. But this is why China chooses countries with leadership that they can exploit. It's not down to the people. They don't get to decide if the Chinese government can come in and exploit them or not. China simply buys a leader that will short its citizens and give them all of the resources. They exploit the corrupt. One of my main arguments here is, how does it benefit anyone to live in a fantasy world where China is collapsing? China isn't collapsing. If you pretend China's collapsing and that the CCP is losing ultimate control over their citizens, where does that get you? China is not the USA. If any of these issues that I just named off were to happen in the US, Americans would be storming political institutions and forcefully reforming everything from the ground up. It almost seems like people want China to collapse, not from a government perspective, but from a societal aspect. Why do you want China to collapse? Political transformation would be great. Preferably a slow to medium shift into freedom and democracy, but social and economic collapse isn't beneficial for the people who have no say or power over this situation. In fact, the leadership is only tightening its grip over the people when more problems happen. It doesn't matter what side of the political spectrum you fall on. The Chinese government wants to see the world bend to its whim. And this is the most important thing I have to say to you. Americans specifically, I'm addressing you. Whatever you think about, whatever political party, Democrat, Republican, or anything in between, any bizarre hatred that you've come up with in your head for your fellow neighbor who deviates slightly from you on the political spectrum, or whoever you've convinced yourself is a full-blown Nazi or a straight-up communist, China, with the help of Russia, is exploiting you right now. This division that you're seeing in the US is proliferated by these regimes. Artificially divided people are susceptible to propaganda from alternative countries. And before you say that you could never fall for it, I am seeing it happen at an alarming rate. I see people both on the far right and far left that are praising China as based. Simply because they've bought into the fantasy of bought and paid for propaganda agents on alternative media that tells them that America is worse than actual authoritarian regimes. It's not. Political division sown by disinformation agents, propaganda departments, and then amplified by media outlets is tearing not only the US apart, but also other countries as well. I've been back here in the US since 2018 after fleeing from China narrowly escaping the clutches of the Chinese government. My appreciation for freedom, democratic values, hell, even clean air, and this beautiful melting pot of different minds, colors, creeds, and choices has blossomed. I appreciate what we have. We have a beautiful thing here in the USA and other democratic nations alike. This perceived division is scaring me. It's the product of propaganda campaigns from countries like China, and people latch onto misinformation because of the distrust that's been sown. No, China isn't going to collapse anytime soon. And that's not because of its strength as a unified nation, not because it's based. It's because it's an actual nightmare of surveillance, a lack of rights, no recourse for its citizens, and ultimate control from a central government that operates like North Korea but more efficiently. China is not the alternative. China is the bad ending. It's not China that's gonna collapse. It's your country if you don't stop falling for this artificial division. Don't be a puppet of one of the worst authoritarian regimes to ever exist.